Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are actually going to be continuing on with a mini-series, which was essentially getting this plane to this hangar from somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, that was the thing. We, we put it on a train, we then put it on a truck, and we dragged it all the way to here. And now apparently, it has magically built itself. So this right here is the SA-175 Avalanche turboprop airliner built by Sky. Now Sky said that I should read the description on this aircraft before actually flying it. Now, he knows, or they know, that I should actually, or that I normally, just test planes out uh, without reading the descriptions. Now, this isn't going to be any exception to that rule. I am going to try and fly it without doing any uh, pre-flight pre description reading. Um, but hopefully, we can actually get it in the sky without any of that, uh, and hopefully it will go well. Before we actually get inside though, I do want to say this thing does look absolutely fantastic. I think the color scheme is actually awesome. I love the orange, uh, the white, and the gray combo. I think that looks epic. And this tail fin actually looks pretty sick too, to be fair. So um, yeah, really like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump inside, try and take this thing off, and uh, yeah, get going. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and jump inside straight away. There we go, we can just jump in through the rear and close the door. Excellent. In the rear we actually have some dome lights. Main cabin lights, we also have start sky. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what start sky means, but uh, yeah, that's cool. We also have a lavatory at the back as well. We won't deal with that just yet. Let's get to the cockpit and see what's in here. Close the doors. We have a pilot seat. We have a co-pilot seat, which is awesome. Everything that we will need is in the roof. We'll turn on the APU first. Uh, if there is ground power, I don't know if there is ground power. But we'll turn the main battery on. That'll be fine. APU bleed air. And that should be fine as well. We'll turn this on because it says it needs to. And that's all good too. Turn on all the electric... Uh, the hydraulics. Very good. Uh, cabin heat. We don't need that just yet. And we are good. Anti-ice for the engines. Anti-ice for the wings. Anti-ice probe. Very good. Right tank valve. Okay. Turn on the fuel pumps. And all the valves. Cross pit. Yeah. Okay. That seems good. Uh, engine masters are right there. We'll do this. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good for actually taking off here. Light strobe, beacon, and nav are going to go on as well. And we're going to start up the engines. Hopefully this will work. Once the engines are started, we'll turn off the APU. And then we'll uh, we'll taxi out and fly. I think that'll be good. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. They're on the exact same. Right, turn off the APU now. Excellent. And we are ready to go, I believe. Nice. Okay, so we got our parking brake right there. Uh, we got our roll stabilizer. Okay. Okay. It does have ILS as well, but we will not be using that today? Question mark? Is that what ILS is? Hang on. Please read the workshop page for manual and instructions. How to operate this plane. Thanks, Sky. I'm sorry, Sky. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Sky, but uh, I have not done that. My bad. Um, right, okay, cool. Cool. Okay, so I need avionics to go on as well because honestly, I uh, I haven't. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to be labeled as avionics. Uh, it should be somewhere up here, presumably. Orgs battery new. No, is it going to be up here somewhere? Cabin heat now. Okay. Uh, because I, I want to turn on these things. These. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how you turn them on. Uh oh. Toggle autopilot? Well, we don't need that, do we? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti-o. Is it just my brain? I don't know where it is. I don't know where the avionics start is. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, wait, it's that. It's the key button. Okay, sorry. All right, here we go. So it is actually starting up now. We'll go ahead and turn off the bike brake. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the sort of flaps down to... Not half, but yeah, down a little bit. And we're actually moving. Okay, throw it up, let's go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Up and down is a soft break. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. We're just going to go ahead and floor it out of here. I think that's probably fine. Here we go. Here we go, indeedy. Okie dokie, lift up. Into the sky, excellent. Landing gear is going to come up. There we go, very nice. And we are actually flying the aircraft. Okay. It's working. We've got it into the sky already. Fantastic. That's good. All right. Okay. So now that we're actually in the sky, I think what we're going to do is we are going to try and work out the autopilot 
uh, is the first thing that we should do. So we'll go ahead and turn on the roll stabilizer first. Uh, we're not going to use the auto land at all today, unfortunately, but I'm, th I'm sure that's fine. Uh, I don't know what this means. Generally don't know what that actually means. So we'll go with zero and we'll turn it on. Okay, it keeps us level at the altitude we are at, I think. Okay. Uh, no, it's still climbing. Okay, let's do this. And let's do this. See if it changes anything. Doesn't appear to have changed anything. Oh, okay, right, hang on. So we have certain altitudes here. Let's go ahead and select, um, 1,000. No, we don't want to go that high. 500 feet. There we go. Select one. This is why you read the descriptions. <laughs> this is precisely why you read the descriptions. We need to turn this off as well. There we go. Uh, and now it should fly pretty much in a straight line, which, yeah. Uh, right, cabin heat needs to go on as well. There we go. Excellent. And now we're, yeah, this is fine. Perfect. Okay, so I did have a little quick skeg at the uh, the description, and it does say that we need an add-on in order to actually do the auto land, which uh, makes sense. I do believe I have the add-on, but it's not actually on this save. So, uh, yeah, we don't currently have that. Is there any way of getting out into the wing? Because I really like that. No. There's no way of getting out into the wing. Makes sense, because why would you? So, that's cool. Let's go ahead and sit in a passenger seat and have a look at this. I love these cameras, by the way. Cameras on the tail fin are actually pretty sick. They look really awesome. Look at that. Can you see the, the propellers turning? Awesome. Right, let's get back inside the pilot seat and, uh, yeah, we'll figure out where we're going. Because I'm not actually entirely sure where we're going. Yes. Okay, right. Turn this to zero. Uh, heading? I mean, realistically, it should be zero. So let's do this. I don't know whether that did anything. Yeah. Uh, right. Well, that's okay. Can I change this is the question. I can. Okay. So we got our engine stuff right there. We got our APU stuff right there. We got our fuel tanks. We also have our hydraulics. Uh, we have a radar. And we also have the camera in the cockpit too. Oh, that's sick. Nice. All right, so realistically, we're going to go ahead and turn ourselves back around. We're going to lower ourselves out of the sky because we are really high at the moment. And then we're actually going to attempt a landing with this. Now, I want to do it without the ILS. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Okie dokie. So I've actually turned the autopilot off completely and we are flying this thing like a fighter jet. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did. Uh, so, in theory, the island that we are going to should be in front of us somewhere. Let's get ourselves really low to the water and just skim across. Uh, yeah, I don't actually know which direction I'm heading in. Oh, that's an issue. Alright, we are flying back towards some islands, so that's pretty cool. This thing's fast, too. Not gonna lie, this thing's actually pretty quick. Uh, what does it say? Knots? 300? Currently going 300 knots. That's not bad. In fact, that's really good. Nice. This is sick. This actually looks amazing too. Uh, which I've already said. I say everything twice or three times or four times. This is what happens when I make videos, so I'm sorry. But uh, we're going to continue flying straight across the top of the water. Uh, it looks cool, so we're going to continue to do so. Uh, and then once we see the island, we're going to figure out where the airport is. And we're going to plop it down there. Hopefully, it'll go well. I had to I had to end that cinematic pretty quickly there. We were heading towards the water, but uh, that's okay. Right, so we found ourselves the train tracks. We're actually going to go ahead and follow those off to the left. Uh, and that should be a-okay, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and turn left uh, and follow this around. Hopefully all will go well here. One of the tests I did actually really want to do with this is to see what it would fly like if we lost an engine. Um, I would assume that because Stormworks... Not amazingly well, but I think it's worth a test. So uh, let's go ahead and lower the throttle on one side. In fact, we'll lower the throttle on both sides. And then I'll lower the throttle on one side a lot. Okay. Good. So we are still in the air. We might be about to stall. Let's increase the throttle on this one. Okay, right. We still haven't cut an engine yet. It's still on. But... 
Okay, still okay. Let's go ahead and demolish this engine. Okay, one engine's power is is zero, and the other one is still working. Okay, so one engine's throttle is definitely zero. Uh, just to make sure of that, can we turn off the fuel pump for engine two? There we go. I want to make sure it's definitely off. Um, turn off the fuel pump and also turn off the uh, the master. There we go. Okay. So now, we've definitely lost one engine. The right engine is definitely out. Uh, in order to actually test that, let's go over to here. The RPM of the engine is going down to zero uh, slowly, but it is definitely going down to zero, this bit. So there you go. It can fly on one engine. That's actually really good. That's really good. Wow. That's cool. Alright, well anyway, uh, can we land with one engine is the question. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter for right now. Let's just go ahead and uh, turn the fuel pump back on. Uh, we'll restart the engine so the master's going to go back on. And hopefully it'll start. It is seemingly going up in RPM, so that's good. And then as soon as that engine starts, it is kicking in now. Uh, we'll go in for a landing. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you can just restart it midair. It's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually turned off the weather override. So now the weather is doing whatever the weather wants to do. Uh, which means we're actually getting pushed around by the wind. Uh, which isn't the best, uh, especially for a landing. But uh, we're going to attempt to do it. Anyway, so we are still up here. Let's go ahead and set ourselves a waypoint of... Uh, actually down here. Fishing village? No. Where do I want to land? Multiplayer base seems like a good place to land, actually. So let's try and fly there. And uh, we'll pop it down once we get there. Yeah. Alright, so we weren't quite full throttle there for a second. Uh, but now we are, uh, as you guys can see. Uh, and we are actually flying in perfect. This is this is good. Very nice. Um, realistically, in the future, I would like to check out the ILS system. Because, to be fair, like putting a system like that into a game like this is crazy. Um, and it would be awesome to check out. With that being said, though, I do actually really like doing my own landings. Um, granted, in this game... They never really go too well. In fact, the last plane of skies that I used, it wasn't a VTOL plane, but we did end up landing VTOL. Uh, so, so we sort of just fell out the sky, but because it was windy, we just landed. Nice. It was weird. Uh, but yeah, we're good this time. Very good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change this to zero. We're going to continue flying. We are against the wind, and we're still going 300 knots. So it doesn't seem to affect it overly. So that's actually pretty good. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Uh, remember, we've got our parking brake right here as well. We also have our landing gear here as well. I don't know what speeds or throttle settings this thing lands at, so that's an issue, but um, I'm sure we'll be able to do it. Yeah. Wow, okay, right. So, uh, obviously the time isn't changing, but the weather is still really bad. Over there on our left uh, is actually the airport island. Now, I want to say something about that airport island. I want to say that the airport is too small. It's, it's really tiny on that island, and I'm not sure why. Landing anything big on there is just... It's silly. Like, you can do it. It is definitely possible. But it just... It should be a way longer runway. And I want to say that about... All of the old runways in this game, they're all too small. I guess the new ones are actually big enough, but... Um, yeah. I feel like that island needs an update. I feel, I feel like it needs a longer runway, but, um... I don't see why big planes would land there anyway, I suppose. But, uh... Yeah, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Right, so, we found the multiplayer island. We're going to land at it. Let's remove the waypoint. Let's figure out which way we're going to land. Looks like we're going to have a crosswind, uh, but that should be okay. So, slow us down a little bit. We'll drop it to about, I don't know, 70. Okay, that has definitely slowed us down. Is that the submarine base? It is. Interesting. Because uh, I, I wanted to fly through there, but obviously you can't get out the other side, so let's not do that. Uh, let's go ahead and drop our landing gear already. It's probably fine. Do, 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 do. So as soon as the landing gear locks into place, uh, they'll turn green. In fact, they turned green before it locked, but that's fine. Uh, and now we should be good to go in for a landing. Parking brake is on. I don't know why I would land with parking brake on. But because the wind is so bad, uh, honestly, I feel like even once we land, we're going to have an issue. We are. Gonna have an issue. This has reverse thrusters too, but. Okay, so we're down. We are, we are in fact on the ground. 
we're drifting, <laughs> and we have landed. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's that's landed. I think. And as you guys can see, the plane is pointed towards where the wind is coming from. Uh, but that's okay. We did it. We actually landed the aircraft. All right, turn the roll stabilizer off. Parking brake's gonna stay on. Everything else is gonna come off. So avionics off. All of these. All of that. There we go. Cabin heater. Yep. Engine masters. Fuels. All right, we're gonna turn everything off uh, because we have, in fact, landed. Excellent, you know. That's actually, that's really good. All right, open this door. Go ahead and close the door. Let's head to the rear. Um, turn this off, turn that off. And let's get out. Oh. Let's see what the toilet looks like. <laughs> All right, okay, so the toilet looks uh, small, but that's okay, because it's, it's an airplane. Uh, can I get out this side? I hate when this happens. I really hate when this happens. Like, there's no way it shouldn't open. But it's not opening. Sag. Very sag. I'm going to teleport outside. There we go. All right, cool. So, we've done our flight with this thing now. I'm actually very pleased with the way it went. Uh, obviously, reading the description would have been better. Having an ILS landing would have been even better than that, probably. But, again, I guess the ILS takes the fun out of landing. A little bit, anyway. But, uh, for now... Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want to check this thing out for yourselves, it will be linked down below. Hopefully Sky isn't super upset with this video, but um, maybe. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.